Ready. So uh, let's go ahead with your mock for your upcoming entry of uh, ONG, ONGC uh, for the role of uh, chemist, right? So yes. uh, first of all, introduce yourself briefly to us. Yes, sir. So my name is Munoman Chatterjee. I'm from uh, I'm from uh, from a small place near Kolkata, which is Kone Nagar, which is uh, which is also known as the first place where the first shoe company of India was created by Bata. and so about my family i uh, my my mother is a homemaker and she is an excellent cook and my father works in an amusement park company and about my education i have done my uh, uh, bachelor's in chemistry from calcutta university and i have done my masters in chemistry from uh, banaras hindu university then i have uh, taken gate twice in 2020 and 21 and uh, among which in 20, 2021 i have acquired an ai ai rank of 36 So in the meantime, due to the COVID, uh, as the uh, selection process was delayed, I've also worked for a company where they cater services for six months and as a content reviewer. And sir, after that, I have using the gate rank, I have also taken admission to the NTEC course of IIT Delhi in Polymer Science and Technology, and I'm currently pursuing that. I'm only second semester of that. That's about me. Okay. So right now uh, you are doing your masters, right? NTEC. Yes, sir. NTEC. IIT Delhi in uh, polymer technology, right? Yes, sir. Polymer science and technology. Polymer science and technology. Okay. And before that, you also have uh, worked over there. Uh, I think in some company for almost about six months, right? Six months. Yes, sir. Okay. So, uh, Chaturji, uh, why, why, why you want to get into ONGC? Why don't you get into a field where you know you can get into R and D domain and all that? Okay. Yes, sir. So yes, sir. why, why uh, there is an interest in ONGC? Yes. So basically, sir, there are two major reasons. Uh, I mean, two aspects of the reason that I want to join ONGC. One of these is the professional reason, and for that, I can I, I want to say that sir, ONGC is the largest energy company of India. ONGC, as a Maharatna, is the largest is also the largest crude oil and uh, so natural gas production company of India. It almost acquires the seventy one percent of the total domestic market of India. And sir, I it it is my privilege. It will be my privilege for to work for such an Prestigious organization after my masters, and sir, and sir, I I I've been not wrong if I say that ONGC is the most desired PSU among all, and all of the gate aspirants that took take gate, sir, look forward to ONGC, and I'm no ex- exception to that. And sir, if the employee point of view or personal point of view, sir, ONGC also is the comes under the Fortune two for two fifty best employees list. Which uh, is uh, which is a great thing because from from the in- employee point of view, because uh, so only she also provides a very uh, I mean rich uh, benefits to the uh, not not to the no, not all the, even to the uh, employees also there to the families. It also provides a best in class security and monetary compo- uh, compensations. And sir, so there are very few few places in uh, as a chemist that we can uh, apply our knowledge and also say so at the same time. Uh, Do things. I mean, our player practical knowledge at a scale that we can serve our country on a daily basis. So, so that, so to conclude, sir, in short, I can say that ONGC is the best place for a chemist. And since I have a opportunity of joining ONGC, I'd be looking forward to it, sir. Hmm. Okay. So, okay. So, how you can contribute to ONGC? Since you are saying that, okay, since uh, this could be the best place to work for. Yes, uh, given the very limited roles uh, that you have in companies uh, as a chemist, so how you can uh, what contribution do you think you can make to ONGC if you join? Yes, sir. So, so generally, uh, as a when uh, ONGC hires a chemist, so it basically uh, is uh, the uh, ONGC as a chemist. I can do and contribute to three major aspects. So, chemist actually works in ONGC in three uh, three major areas, which is one is the surface team, which is also known the quality and QC team. And one one is the uh, mud services or drilling field services team, which is the uh, most number of chemists required. I mean, uh, recruited there. And the third is the R and D team. So in the mud services team or the drilling field services team, we are responsible to check the parameters and maintain the quality parameters of the drilling fluid, which is very important for the drilling of the oil. And sir, so in the uh, surface team and quality check team, we are uh, responsible for the quality checking of the oil that is uh, produced, and also sir to Explore new places that that can produce oil. I mean, the potential places where can produce oil, and so also there is the R and D sector, which is uh, where the more I mean the more I mean the daily practices, the modification of the daily practices are found, and also they are like how to modify, how to increase the production, how to modify the drilling fluids that are done, 
So that these are the three aspects I can I can uh, contribute to ONGC. And also uh, another additional is that uh, it is not uh, directly ONGC, but there is a subsidiary. Uh, there, there is a joint venture venture of ONGC, which is uh, OPAL ONGC Petro Additions Limited, which is a polymer company which uh, manufactures in, which is involved in the production of polymers. And sir, since I've, I'm a student of polymer science and technology, I can contribute to that, that also. Sir. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do you have an idea under which ministry this comes, this ONGC comes? Yes, sir. The uh, petroleum, uh, under the petroleum and uh, petroleum ministry, sir. Who is the current minister for that? Sir, Dr. Uh, sir, Mr. Hardeep Singh Puri. Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, okay. So, can you let me know your some of the greatest strengths, Mister? So, so the most, uh, sir, the most prominent strength of me is that I'm a quick learner, and that, uh, sir, I, I also have a very, very like recent example of that. Like, I have, I'm from a chemistry background, and I'm currently studying the MTech in polymer, which is a different course. Also, uh, though related to chemistry, but still it is a different course. But I'm in any short time, in six or five or six months, I've stayed, studied. I've uh, I'm able to secure a good CGPA. Like I was uh, second in the in the first semester. So so I mean this can be an example of my quick learning skills. And I also say I'm a resourceful person, which means sir, what I mean whatever the um, challenges that are shown to me in in in, in the every aspect of life, I'd be. I, I am able to, and I, I try to be uh, solving that uh, with anything that I have at my disposal. And that said, uh, I, I, I'm also so honest, which is, I think, very uh, under, understated uh, like strength, because uh, honesty and integrity, if someone has in the daily work, they will be successful in life. But that, that's what I believe. These are the major strengths I have, sir. Okay. So we'll be providing you feedback at the end. So over to uh, Nikhil sir now. Thank you, sir. Uh, hello, Manama. Am I audible to you? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Yes, sir. Okay, uh, Manama, just good tell afternoon. me. Uh, uh, good afternoon. Uh, do you have any kind of uh, project experience? Yes, sir. I've done uh, six months. I mean, a project uh, as a part of my master's uh, in my okay. uh, fourth semester of MSc. Okay. So can you please elaborate about that? Yes, sir. So in that project, sir, I have actually th that that was a project related to computational chemistry. So, sir, in that project, we have uh, like I, actually, I was uh, involved in to uh, study the computational reaction dynamics of the uh, of the ozone layer depletion. So basically, so what we know is that ozone layer depletes through the conventional mechanism, which is the uh, chlorofluorocarbons are uh, goes to there and they are they are dissociated. The chlorine radicals uh, reacts to oxygen uh, ozone and they deplete. But this is an alternate reaction to, to that, which is the stratospheric. The stratosphere there is a lot of uh, like a good amount of sulfuric acid molecules are present, which also okay. contributes to the depletion of ozone. So that that mechanism of ozone depletion we are like I was uh, involved in uh, finding out. And first, uh, unfortunately, uh, due to the COVID, I actually couldn't finish my whole of the, I mean, whole of the project because I have to, like, I had to access the server from these, from my professor's cabin only. So, so I couldn't do that. So basically, but, uh, your uh, your project was more focused on uh, sulfuric uh, sulfurous compounds or what? Yes, uh, more more focused on the reaction between uh, uh, the oz ozone and h I was more involved in studying the reaction dynamics of the like, what are the transition states? What are the uh, like what are the reaction and reactants and products, different products? What are the transient states of this reaction? Okay, so just tell me the reaction mechanism. How uh, how will we react with the ozone? The H2SO4. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, so basically, sir, uh, the h 2 the uh, H2SO4. Sir, Before that, uh, just tell me where uh, from where the H2SO4 come. Yes, sir. So the H2SO4 basically comes from the, uh, the, the there are many sources. One one of the sources is one of the major sources. Is the volcanic eruption? The vol in the volcanic eruption, there are SO2 form, which okay. which when react with in when uh, the SO2 reacts with the moisture of, uh, present in the air, it produces okay. H2SO4. But the H2SO4 boy, like uh, goes up to the stratospheric layer and stays there. And so that H2SO4 when uh, uh, reacts with the uh, the singlet oxygen. Okay, does is, does uh, SO2 directly uh, when it is uh, reacted with H2, it will be forming H2SO4 or SO3? Yes, sir. There are them. I mean, SO two, SO three, all of them. Are... Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. 
when the uh, single oxygen reacts with the h2so4 so many of the uh, products were formed like uh, in in some cases the h2so4 the uh, single oxygen inserted in the, in the, into the h2so4 and in and in the, in, uh, so the h2so4 was transferred to the excited state and so in in one of the reactions uh, like h so4 radical was and was a product and so in like there are many uh, sub reactions of the, the of that same reaction in some reactions okay. the h h22 was also formed so such these are the things i mean the ozone when reacted with the h2so4 created a lot of side by products and side products which uh, like resulted in the uh, depletion of the ozone layer that that, that was the alternate reaction that uh, sir i was involved in like finding out but unfortunately i couldn't do the whole thing but i have like uh, tracked the uh the, the energy states of the uh, energy states of the um, reactant so is it only coming from volcanoes or any other sources uh so also 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 uh, some of the sources i remember so from the uh, like some of the uh, chemical companies that that uh, like put out so2 like whenever there is like sulfur sul- sulfur containing compounds that are like put out by the chemical companies from there like up as a by product that goes into the air air and that also like uh, produces h2so4 okay okay so uh, tell me uh, do you know how acid is produced in the industry how acid h2so4 okay, sulfur uh, acid uh no sir i i don't have any idea about that but uh, like acid in is producing no sir no sir do I you know, know the have... reaction mechanism okay no problem no, no, sir, okay uh, you just tell me what are the different parameters you have to find out uh, of drilling fluid pr- properties like what okay. are the different parameters you will find out okay so the different parameters that can be so the uh, so there, there are uh, so one of the parameters is the viscosity and uh, and the uh, and the uh, ph and also the specific density of the visco- uh, drilling fluid these are the parameters and these okay. affect ha so the, these affects in the thing in the uh, drilling uh, drilling as so this it is specific density the specific density is uh, like responsible for uh, uh, like mm, pulling up the oil the, the 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 rocky particles the rubbish from the subsurface surface so that oil ex- exploration can be done smoothly and also the is the, is the in the same process the viscosity is too much increase and that would create friction which will dissipate and which will create a lot of heat and okay to dissipate that heat water is also added to the uh, f- uh, fluid so sir we have to maintain also the viscosity to a optimum level and also sir the ph also ph measurement is also we have to be we have to optimize because since the sir, in, in, in the in the ph if there, there are the, the ph is i mean if it if the fluid becomes base base acidic or acidic that could that could uh, like uh, there are there are at the sub surface sub surface area there should be could be lot of heavy metals that could react with that acid and that that would contaminate the oil so these okay. are the three parameters that i know that the viscosity specific density and ph okay so how do you uh, find out the viscosity of that uh, fluid any method uh, so by biological uh, measurements sir. by the the advice of viscometer we can find the viscosity of the fluid in okay. the uh, centipoise scale okay, centipoise scale yes i mean in a centipoise unit okay uh, so what is what are the mechanism of viscometer do you know youtube viscometer yes sir you have yeah, yes sir. i i know youtube viscometer where sir we uh, basically there are two tubes uh, yeah, youtube yes sir. the, the overload tube no overload tube yes in, in overload tube sir, there there are two tubes basically so the in uh, the in sir, the 
the whole in which the the whole in the uh tube are very like capillary level uh the uh, capillary uh like th- that uh narrow and so mm. uh like if, if we uh, are measuring the viscosity of say water so we pushed mm. water through the uh i mean the uh, tube and uh the water that goes through the from one uh like uh, hand of the tube it goes to the another hand but there is a the, the where there is a, a gap for like the weather i mean usme thoda zyada hota hai wo wala area ki thoda thoda matlab chaura hota hai so, so we have to push the, the water up to that level and the timer is uh, kept like the timer is started and okay. uh, the, the basically we measure the amount the time the fluid takes from to, to go from point a to point b and so mm-hmm. with respect to water the other fluids like like any acid or diluted acid or we can measure and we mm-hmm. with respect to the time of the water taken mm-hmm. and uh, the ratio of the time of the water ta- taken and the ratio of the time taken by the acid for example so that way we can find the specific density of that any fluid acha isme to time nikla uska the viscosity kaise nikalenge time mil gaya to water ka mil gaya aur iska mil gaya so the time so time ka ratio is uh, uh, directly proportional to the viscosity ka ratio time ka ratio is directly proportional to the viscosity ratio right yeah. so that uh, said so there was a reaction i don't uh, actually remember but the in, through that reaction, we can find that the viscosity is directly proportional to the time taken so i mean to to like in flowing through the, through the capillary okay hmm. acha aapne bola kya rheological properties ke bare mein bataya what is rheology kya hota hai so rheology is basically the flow i mean uh, say so it, it it is the flowing of any kind of melt like polymer melt on any it, it, it is basically we check we check uh, we analyze flow properties of different uh, like liquid or or melt and uh, when when the various uh, parameters like temperature and pressure are varied and we mm-hmm. check the uh, like the analysis of flow with respect to the parameters okay so generally uh, the rheology is required for newtonian fluid or non newtonian fluid so non newtonian fluids okay so what are the non newtonian fluids so the so polymers are non newtonian fluids okay mm-hmm. so what polymers. is that what is uh, what are the characteristic of non newtonian fluid yes sir so basically non newtonian fluids are where the viscosity is not proper, directly proportional is, is not equal to the uh, i mean so for newtonian fluids we, we can uh, we can uh, put the equation that shear stress is equals to viscosity into shear rate this equation does not hold for non non newtonian fluids where the viscosity is uh, like the viscosity coefficient is greater than 1 so the equation of newton's law of this this newton's uh, equation is does not hold for the non newtonian fluids where the viscosity can be can be sir uh, like the this uh, equation does not hold sir uh, there are two type of fluids in that case uh, from this equation this arises that viscosity uh, increases in such some uh, liquids uh, with uh, the shear rate increase if the shear rate increases and in some cases so the viscosity decreases with the increase of shear rate so if the viscosity increases with the shear rate these are called shear thickening fluid and if the viscosity decreases with the shear rate this is called shear thinning fluids okay hmm. these are okay okay uh, just tell me one thing uh, what are the different between a uh, difference between chemical kinetics and thermodynamics yes sir so so in chemical kinetics we basically find we basically monitor the react reaction rate which is the main uh, uh focus of r is to monitor the reaction rate and we we change different parameters like temperature concentration of the reactants and the products and we uh, monitor the rate change due to that this is basically the fundamental principle of chemical kinetics and in thermodynamics we basically uh so we basically uh like measure the heat we basically measure enthalpy entropy these certain parameters and give energy so basically the flow of heat the flow of heat and energy Just tell and me the that, relation relation between that like what will the relation of chemical reaction between chemical yes. kinetics and thermodynamics so in in chemical in in thermodynamics so there are three basically uh, three laws the first law and uh, in the first law the reaction the mathematical equation of the first law is uh, uh, del q which is the change in heat is is equal to change in energy plus change in internal energy theek okay, okay. and in the uh, second law of uh, thermodynamics which says that the entropy which is the, which is the entropy which is entropy related law and here the ent- here the entropy is mainly focused and the third law sir according to the third law any uh, no no uh, crystal can be uh, attained uh, i mean no crystal can attain zero zero k temperature 
mm-hmm. and also uh, no i mean at at uh, i mean and also the the, the same crystal when when is this specific mean absolute crystal it can, the entropy cannot be zero that's the thing so entropy always there will be residual entropy to the mm-hmm. uh, rotations of that uh, rotation and conformation of that specific crystals so these are the three mm-hmm. laws and so in chemical kinetics there are uh, there are first order reaction second order reaction and there are uh, different laws for the same like for, for the first order reaction the law is uh, ln of a by a minus x is the uh, is the uh, means in initial concentration of the product and x is the, the dissociation of the product is is equals to k into t okay, 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 okay. okay, okay. okay thank you i am done from my side so now i am giving you the feedback yes sir okay um first of all आपने ठीक है मैंने आपको डिफरेंस पूछा केमिकल काइनेटिक्स एंड थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स का तो आपको इन टर्म्स ऑफ केमिकल रिएक्शन कैसे बताना है थर्मोडाइनेमिक्स में आपका ये बताता है कि वो रिएक्शन होगा या नहीं होगा ये बताता है इट टेल्स द फिजिबिलिटी ऑफ द रिएक्शन वेदर दिस रिएक्शन विल हैपन और नॉट आपको ये ये बताना था ठीक है और केमिकल काइनेटिक्स बताता है कि कितना फास्ट होगा ये रिएक्शन अगर होगा तो हाउ फास्ट द रिएक्शन विल कंटिन्यू जैसे आपने बताया कि रेट ऑफ रिएक्शन हम निकालते हैं तो उसको आपने उसको आपको एनालिजी बना के बताना था उसको ठीक है ओके ओके ठीक है और जब थर्मोडाइनिक से बात आप कर ही दिए तो ठीक है वो जो क्वेश्चन का रिलेवेंट नहीं बोले लॉस बताने लगे तो लॉस जब आप बता रहे हैं तो उसका एक्जैक्टली डेफिनेशन होना चाहिए मतलब उसको लॉस को तोड़ मोड़ के नहीं बता पाएंगे आप ठीक है क्योंकि वो बहुत स्पेसिफिक है वो लॉस जो भी फर्स्ट लॉस सेकेंड लॉस जो भी है आपका ठीक है एनर्जी कंजर्व है ये है वो है उसको इधर उधर से नहीं बताना आपको आपको फॉर्मूला तो पहले बताना ही नहीं है ठीक है कि वो फॉर्मूला भी जो निकल रहा है बेस्ट ऑन सर्टन काइंड ऑफ एजेंशन है तो डायरेक्ट आपको जो डेली प्लस ये है वो है उसको बाद उसको रखना ही नहीं है आपको अपने स्टेटमेंट देना है उसका ठीक है ओके थर्ड आपका हो गया जो भी आपने आपका जो भी बताया कि आपका तीन प्रोफाइल रहेगा क्वालिटी कंट्रोल में रहेगा मर्ड सर्विस में रहेगा आर में रहेगा तो वर्क प्रोफाइल को अच्छे से उसमें एक्सप्लोर करिए और क्या क्या आपका काम रहेगा वहाँ पर अगर कुछ पैरामीटर्स आप निकाल रहे हैं ठीक है तो एक्जेक्टली exactly ये बस म्यू पी एच एस जी ये तीन चीज से तो नहीं होगा और भी पैरामीटर्स होगा ठीक है तो उसको फाइंड आउट करिए क्या क्या पैरामीटर्स है और वो पैरामीटर्स जानने के बाद आपको मेथड्स देखना पड़ेगा कैसे उसको निकालते हैं ठीक है पी एच तो आपका पीएच मीटर का हो गया ठीक है उसमें कुछ नहीं है एस जी एस जी कैसे निकलता होगा डिग्री ऑफ एपीआई निकाल रहे हैं आप क्या निकाल रहे हैं ये देखना है आपको एस जी से क्या क्या कोरलेट हो सकता है मतलब हाई स्पेसिफिक ग्रेविटी हो गया तो क्या फ्लूड के बारे में क्या बताता है ये ऐसे सोच के जाना है आपको ठीक है Okay. तो उसका मेथड्स आपको देखना है कैसे उसको निकाल रहे हैं क्या क्या इक्विपमेंट यूज हो रहा है और पैरामीटर्स का आपको सब क्या सिग्निफाई करता है मतलब क्यों उसका जरूरत पड़ रहा है ओके okay. ठीक है ये आपको देखना है okay. और आप आ, बाकी आपका बाकी जो भी था सही था आपका अप्रोच जो भी था कॉन्फिडेंस लेवल भी सही है तो बाकी उसमें दिक्कत नहीं है पर आपका प्रोफाइल क्या होने वाला है उसके बारे में आपको थोड़ा सही से जानना पड़ेगा ठीक है पैरामीटर्स बस दो तीन पैरामीटर नहीं रखना है और जो आप जो जो भी आपने ये किया है आपका जो भी आपको प्रोजेक्ट एक्सपीरियंस है जो कि आपने नहीं कर पाया ड्यू टू कोविड ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं है पर ओजन लेयर डिप्लेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर प्रोजेक्ट कैसे कैसे होता है ये आपको बताना है क्योंकि आपका प्रोजेक्ट ही रिलेवेंट नहीं हो गया अब ओजन लेयर बता दिए तो आपको ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस में जाना पड़ेगा ठीक है ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस के बारे में आपको पता करना पड़ेगा आपने क्लोरो सी के बारे में थोड़ा बताया लेकिन ठीक है आपको उसके बारे में जानना पड़ेगा कि ग्रीन हाउस गैसेस कैसे हो रहे हैं उसके बाद आप आप क्यों है सल्फर सल्फ्रिक एसिड को आप टारगेट कर रहे हैं वो बताना पड़ेगा सल्फ्रिक एसिड आप बोलकाना बोल के नहीं निकल जाएंगे आप आपका रिफाइनरी से भी निकलता है ठीक है जो आपका एसो टू आपका एस टू एस निकल रहा है उसमें क्या होता है जब आ, वाटर वेपर के साथ मिलेगा तो वो एसिड मिस्ट बनाएगा और सल्फ्रिक एसिड का कंसेंट्रेशन बहुत कम रहता है लेकिन वो एसिड मिस्ट बन जाता है ठीक है तो वो लेवल से आपको सोच के बताना पड़ेगा इंडस्ट्री के हिसाब से क्योंकि बल्कानो आपको इंडिया में नहीं मिल रहा है तो आप बल्कानो का एग्जाम्पल देके नहीं बता पाएंगे तो आपको कुछ रिफाइनरीज या कुछ इंडस्ट्रीज का एग्जाम्पल उसमें देना पड़ेगा कैसे वो फ्लेयर में जो आप देखेंगे तो कैसे उसका प्लूम निकल रहा है क्या निकल रहा है थोड़ा मोटा आइडिया आएगा ठीक है कोई दिक्कत नहीं लेकिन वो रिलेवेंट होना चाहिए ठीक है कैसे अप्लाई करेंगे इंडिया में वो आपका ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंस रहेगा ना कि आपका बोलकानो इधर उधर का वो इरिलेवेंट होगा इन आवर कंट्री एटलीस्ट ओके तो बाकी सब आपका ठीक है बाकी ये देख लीजिए आप, आपके बारे में जो जो आपने किया है लाइक प्रोजेक्ट या फिर जो आप करने वाले हैं जिसे में जाके उसका क्लैरिटी होना चाहिए ठीक है ओके ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू सर ओके सर सकलानी सर ओवर टू यू ओ यस यस ओके थैंक यू निटल सर ओके सो चटर्जी सी आई थिंक दो तीन चीजें रखनी है थोड़ा सा हल्का सा वर्कआउट कर लो आपका इंट्रोडक्शन के ऊपर इवन दो इट वाज ओके मोर ओर लेस ठीक बट थोड़ा सा इसको बहुत टू द पॉइंट 
ज्यादा डिटेल में ये नहीं बताना कि मेरी सिस्टर यहाँ काम कर रही है ब्रदर यहाँ काम कर रहा है आई थिंक में नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड ठीक है स्पेसिफिक फादर पेरेंट्स के बारे में मेरे सिबलिंग है ये इतने हैं दैट्स ऑल एंड बाकी आपने क्या किया वो सीक्वेंस ठीक है एम एस सी एंड देन थ्रू वॉट सॉरी यू वर्क ओवर देयर इन सम कंपनी ऑल्सो ओवर देयर अब वो जहां पर आपने काम किया ना उसका अगर सम हाउ इट कुड बी रिलेटेड टू ओ जो एक्सपीरियंस आपका है क्या उसका कुछ आप बेनिफिट ले सकते हो रिलेट करके तो उसको रिलेट करने की कोशिश करो तो से अगर मैं बोलता हूँ कि क्या हाउ हाउ यू कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू हाउ यू कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू हाउ यू कैन कंट्रीब्यूट टू दिस लाइक ओ एनजीसी देन वहां पर भी आप चाहो तो पॉइंट ला सकते हो अगर किसी तरीके से इफ इट इज रिलेटेड मतलब उस बेन उस एक्सपीरियंस का काइंड ऑफ पॉजिटिव आपने वो रखना है ताकि उस, उसका बेनिफिट मिलो आप मिले आपको तो लिंक क्रिएट कर लो अगर कहीं होता है तो ओके अभी आप यूर इन द सेकंड ईयर ऑफ योर मास्टर्स राइट ठीक है क्यों ओ एनजीसी ज्वाइन करना चाहते हो इवन दो आपने दो ब्रॉड कैटेगरीज में इसको मैंशन किया दैट इज ओके आई थिंक थोड़ी सी पॉलिशनेस चाहता हूँ मैं इससे कि आप थोड़ा सा इसको ना बेटर प्रेजेंटेशन हो ठीक है अपना ये कैटेगरी वाइज ठीक है कि एक तो ये है कि आपका दिस पार्ट ऑफ योर ओ क्या है ओ में ऐसा क्या है कि जिसके कारण आप अट्रैक्ट हो रहे हो उसकी तरफ तो ये टोल्ड हिम कि आप वन ऑफ द लार्जेस्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है दिस एंड दैट ग्रोथ एंड ग्रोथ अपॉर्चुनिटीज है बेनिफिट है और किसी भी को काम करना इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में अपने काइंड ऑफ प्रेस्टिज एंड इश्यू होगा और दूसरा पार्ट आई थिंक हाउ यू कैन कंट्रीब्यूट वो भी ऐड करो तो बेटर रहेगा वाई यू एनजी सी भाई आप, आपने कहा भी कहीं शायद आपने थोड़ा बहुत एक जगह एक लाइन यूज की थी आपने जिसमें कि आपने कहा कि एज ए केमिस्ट जो है इस तरह का रोल जो है बहुत ही कम जगह है जहां पर मेरी काइंड ऑफ फिट हो सकती है तो आप ये भी बताओ कि हाउ जो वो फिट है वो उसमें रहेगी तो वो कब होगा अगर आपने रोल्स क्लियरली आइडेंटिफाई कर लिए तो आप बोलोगे सर मुझे लगता है कि जो कुछ एक रोल्स हैं ओ में they are very much suited to my my profile i have done this and right now doing so i think all those things i will be able to effectively utilize in the ongc so this is a very right fit for me right is tarike se bolna theek hai so ek ye hai aapne ye nahi bolna hai ki ki bahut hi kam jagah pe jahan par chemist ka role hota hai something that way matlab aisa nahi lagna chahiye ki aap aapko koi aur option nahi hai no शुड लुक लाइक कि आपका जो है ये ये रोल जो है वो बहुत ही काइंड ऑफ राइट फिट है फॉर यू बिकॉज जो भी चीजें आप कर रहे हो वो जो है वहां पर जो है दे आर गोइंग टू बी डायरेक्टली अप्लाइड ठीक है ओके कंट्रीब्यूशन टू ओ आपने ठीक है उसके वेबसाइट को देख लो कि कहाँ क्या क्या रोल है आपने वैसे मुझे लग रहा है यू हैव थ्रू अपने क्वालिटी कंट्रोल आर एंड एंड सेक्टमेंट सेगमेंट में है एंड कैसे वो कंट्रीब्यूशन हो सकती है ठीक है तो तो थोड़ी सी रिफाइनमेंट मुझे चाहिए आपकी हल्की सी इंट्रोडक्शन में और वाई ओ ये YONGC अच्छा करना है आपने कंट्रीब्यूशन कैसे होगी ये वाला पार्ट आपका कैसे कंट्रीब्यूट कर सकते हो आप और ठीक है मिनिस्ट्री के बारे में पता होना चाहिए ONGC के बारे में पता होना चाहिए यू मस्ट नो अबाउट द क्या क्या है एंड ऑल दैट और जो बेसिक उसका बिजनेस पोर्टफोलियो है एंड स्ट्रेंथ uh, क्या है क्विक लर्नर हूँ सी जी पी एंड हमने और भी कुछ कहा ऑनेस्टी एंड इंटेग्रिटी सीजीपीए मे नॉट बी रिक्वायर्ड टू बी स्पोकन ऑफ लाइक ओवर देयर जब स्ट्रेंथ की बात आती है जैसे क्विक लर्नर आपने बोल दिया या आप बोल सकते हो यू आर ए वेरी कंसिस्टेंट परफॉर्मर एंड ऑल दैट अगर कुछ ऐसा है अगर आपका क्रेडेंशियल स्ट्रॉग है तो आप बोल सकते हो जैसे एमएससी में अगर आपके क्रेडेंशियल अच्छे हैं मास्टर्स में ये नहीं बताना है कि ये बोलने की जरूरत नहीं होती कि मैं सेकंड रूट ऑफ पर हूँ एंड ऑल दैट बट वो क्योंकि सीजीपीए लिखोगे तो ऑब्वियसली उससे आइडिया लग जाता है कि सीजीपीए आप, आपकी अच्छी है तो ऑब्वियसली गिव्स ए गुड सेंस तो आप ये बोलोगे की आई एम कंसिस्टेंट परफॉर्मर एंड दैट कैन बी यू कैन सी फ्रॉम माई क्रेडेंशियल ऑल्सो दो एंड ठीक है बाकी आपने ऑनेस्टी इंटेग्रिटी तो दो तीन चीजें ही आपने मेंशन करनी है इसमें वीकनेस भी आइडेंटिफाई कर लेना कोई ऐसा पॉइंट ठीक है ओके ठीक है ठीक है चलो ओके बाय बाय